Hello, people! So, it's the new year, and I thought it was time to look at the resolutions that I did last year around this time and see whether I accomplished them. Last year I said I wanted to read 50 books in 2015 and I did it! I read 50 books in 2015 and I also read a bunch of manga that I'm not counting so I definitely read more than 50 books and that with the bachelor thesis. Which leads me to the second resolution I had for 2015 which was get that thing with the bachelor thesis sorted out and I did it! And now I'm in the master's studies and it's more work than it was before and I'm kind of going crazy. But I did the bachelor thesis. So far two that I did accomplish, now one that I absolutely did not, which was have less stress, which during the time that I wrote my bachelor thesis just increased to an insane amount. Less stress was not a thing that I was able to think about. I just, I can't even fathom the amount of stress that that put me into the amount of emotional stress. Shouldn't have been that hard. I don't even know what happened. Writing that bachelor thesis was a horrible experience and I'm not looking forward to my master's thesis, so that's gonna be great. Another one of the fails was that I intended to get on a regular schedule with my videos, which to be honest was a pretty stupid idea to set that resolution with my bachelor thesis coming ahead. Seriously, I should have cut myself some slack. How was I supposed to write a bachelor thesis and keep my life going and also make YouTube videos on a weekly basis? I have very good excuses to have slacked on my YouTube schedule. I'm really sad that I couldn't keep it up, but it was I think it was humanly impossible in my situation, so I'm not too mad at myself. I'm going to try Again, maybe this time, maybe this year. And the last resolution I had was to exercise more. And while I didn't exercise a lot, I exercised more than I had done in 2014. So I think I kind of passed that. I mean, I exercised more. I just didn't exercise as much as I would have liked to. I think that's a pass. So it's kind of a two and a half to two and a half kind of deal. I'd say, I'm pretty, I'm pretty okay with this. And because having resolutions really helped me keep my focus last year, I'm gonna make five for this year. So the first resolution for 2016 is be more creative and paint this picture, this right here, I'm gonna put it in here, on a 1 meter to 1.5 meter canvas. And that's gonna be my centerpiece here. It's gonna be my centerpiece that goes into this blank space right behind me. There's a huge blank space on my wall. I have not the slightest idea how well that is going to go because I can paint, but I'm not a good painter. This could go horribly, horribly wrong, but we will see and we will learn from it. <laughs> I also really want to get back into sewing. I have a project from uh, my friend Leah, which I have to fulfill. So I'm looking forward to that a lot because creativity is an outlet and being creative reduces stress. So being creative is something that I didn't have time for last year and I really want to get back into the swing of things of painting, of crafting, of sewing, of knitting and stuff and I'm missing it a lot and it's very important in my life so I want to get back to it. So that's my first resolution, be more creative. And the second resolution I have is to have less stress which this year I have a good chance of accomplishing because there are no major theses coming up and I'm already pushing stuff back to make more room for free time, relaxation and breathing. Breathing is important. The next resolution is a very obvious one. Again, I'm trying to read 50 books this year and I'm hoping to read 75 but I'm trying for 50 because I don't really want to push myself to read more than 50 books this year because I had a very high level of stress last year. I don't want to ruin the calm that I'm kind of settling into right now by forcing myself to read. I'm trying for 75 but that's no obligation. The next resolution is going to be taken from last year, which is exercise more, get back into shape. I don't feel good. I want to change it. I'm going to try to change it. We will see the outcome in a year. And the last resolution also ties in with last year's resolutions, which is do a YouTube rebrand, try to get a schedule, try to get this thing sorted out. It's kind of a little bit of a mess right now. I have 
no idea what I'm doing. I also wanted to do channel trailers, which I filmed, but never edited. I wanted to do a DIY on this channel, which failed because my editing software deleted the project before it was done. So I gotta get back on that one and then do that one again. I also want to do more exploration videos and stuff. I have a million ideas and never had the time to do them. And I want to change that. I love YouTube and I want to do something with this and... Currently it's chaos, I have no idea what I'm doing, but I kind of want to have a structure and a sense behind this, so I'm going to be working on that. Okay, so that was a look back on 2015 and a look forward to 2016. The next video I'm going to be doing on this channel is gonna be my room tour. My bookshelves are in order and in place and I think I'm ready to do a room tour and I'm gonna film that very, very soon. And now I'm gonna go and drink my tea and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye!